guys, it's Easy from Creature Comfort's blog. Today I wanted to show you a couple quick tips on using Photoshop brushes. These tips will apply to the free inky Photoshop brushes that I'll be using in my sample. They're available for download on Creature Comfort's blog, and they'll also work with any Photoshop brushes that you already have, as well as ones that I'll be giving away in the future. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comment section on, on my blog, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Okay, so let's get started. Once you've downloaded your brush set off of Creature Comforts, you're going to find it on your computer. You're going to want to make sure that you have Photoshop loaded and ready to go. And then you're going to double click on the brush set to load it in Photoshop. You'll find it in the toolbar if you click on the brush tool and then on the brush picker at the top of the page. Here are the brushes that you've just loaded from the set. Now when you're working with Photoshop brushes, you're going to always want to use a new layer for every brush. This will make it so that each brush is editable on its own, and it's just going to give you a lot more control over your design. So go ahead and choose a new layer, if you don't already have one, in the Layers section, and you'll choose the icon at the bottom of the page here, New Layer. Select a color that you'd like to use with your brush. Keep in mind that your brushes are going to be slightly transparent, so when you layer them on top of one another, you will see the color beneath um, showing through just a little bit. This is a fun design element, and it's, it's great to play around with, so just have um, enjoy using it. Okay, so go ahead and go back to your brush tool here. So select the brush picker at the top of the page, and choose the brush you'd like to use. Now you'll see here when I hover over my canvas that this brush is much larger than the canvas I've selected. You can either choose to enlarge your canvas so that it fits the brush, or you can resize the brush, and that's what we'll be doing here today. To resize the brush, you will slide the master diameter slider from left to right to either enlarge or decrease the size of the brush. Continue to decrease or increase the size until it fits the canvas and looks how you'd like. When you're ready, go ahead and just click your mouse button to place it on the page. Now that you have it on your own layer, it can be moved back and forth and around. Another great tip is that you can change the direction of this of your brushes once they've been stamped on the page by click on the by clicking on the layer and then hover your mouse to the outside edge where you see up here in the right-hand corner until it turns into a curved arrow. Hold your mouse button down and drag your shape. This will allow you to move your shape in any direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. When you're done, select Return or Enter to make your selection permanent. Next, if you'd like to swap the image from left to right or reverse it from up, up to down, you can choose uh, Let's see here, you're going to go to Edit, Transform, and you can flip it either horizontally or vertically. So this gives you a lot of options uh, for your brushes, it makes them much more customizable to the look you might want. So let's go ahead and select another brush to layer on top of this one. Create a new layer. If you'd like to choose a new color, you can. Go back to your brush and select the one that you'd like to use. And then go ahead and just stamp it on the page here. Now you can see how you can how the first brush you you stamped on your page is you can see it shining through just slightly beneath your other one. If you'd like to reverse the order of your brushes so that the first brush you stamped is on top. You can look in your layers palette here on your right hand side, select with your mouse, and drag it above the last shape that you created. You can do that as many times as you need with as many layers as you have until they're in the order that you'd like. Finally, if your shape is too dark and you'd like it to be lighter to allow more of the other layer to shine through, you can go ahead and change the opacity which you will find in the right hand corner in your layers palette. Click on the slider and move it from left to right to decrease or increase the opacity. 
once you, you have it how you like, just click on it to de deselect and you're done. You can move your shapes on your page, where your brushes anywhere you'd like them on your page. And there you have it. Once again, if you have any questions at all, please be sure to let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. You can find these brushes that I used today on CreatureComfortsBlog.com. See you there.